What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Today we're going to be looking at my duty belt setup for work. Uh, so I said when I was doing my range belt videos and I still have another video I need to add to that uh, that we'd be doing an, a review on my duty belt that also takes that Condor cover buckle belt just like the range belt does. So let's jump into it guys and I'll show you what uh, what my duty belt looks like. Obviously everybody's is going to be a little different. This is just the personal setup that I have. Um, so to start off, like I said, this has the Condor LCS Cobra buckle belt. So just like the range belt has the real Australian or Austrian, which one is it? Austrian. Cobra belt. Um, now this one does have the inner liner I was talking about during my range videos and I'll, I'll put a link to those up here. Uh, so this is that rubberized inner liner that comes off via Velcro. So I don't run the, the dual belt setup on this like I do my range belt. Instead I run that, that rubber liner and that keeps the belt from sliding up or down as we're getting in and out of the car, moving through the hospital, whatever we're doing that during that transport. So I don't have to wear belt keepers, which is kind of the key for me. So moving around to my left side, I have a Bioki double, ma double mag pouch. Uh, and this is for Glock mags. So we carry a Glock 17, nine millimeter for work. Uh, so pretty nice little open top pouch. I don't like the closed top pouches and we only carry three mags, one in the pistol and two on us. So obviously I don't need one of those fancy uh, Safari Land three mag holders or anything like that. Adjustable retention with this simple screw here in the middle. And the cool part about this one is if you look on the back here, so the belts run through this plastic holder here, but it can be run through in two different directions. So you can actually turn this and run it sideways on your belt if you prefer that. Um, I prefer it in that, that setup there. 100% nylon pouch. Uh, I mean, it's Bioki, they're good. It's a good brand. Fits up to a two and a quarter inch belt. Uh, and right now it is $17.75 on Amazon. Normally goes for about $24. So nice little dual mag pouch if you're looking for one, even for a range belt setup, that's nice. Moving back around, I have just a generic ABS molded uh, tourniquet holder held on with a malice clip to the belt webbing and a recon medical tourniquet. Center of my back, so at my spine, I have a true spec glove pouch. Nothing fancy here, just real simple. A couple pairs of gloves in there, medical grade gloves. I keep that in the center of my back. It's soft, it's not gonna hurt if I fall on it. It's got a nice, good, strong snap on it. 100% nylon again. Guys, if you're, you're in any kind of law enforcement uh, career fields, medical gloves wear them. You never know what these guys have on them. All right, so coming around to my weapon side, behind the weapon, I have a true spec single cuff cuff case, and I am running a set of Smith & Wesson Model 100s. The only thing I don't like about these is the bar lock. Uh, for the double locking system, the bar, I don't really care for it. But other than that, they're, they need oiled. They haven't been used in a while, but they're a, a real good, strong pair of cuffs. We were allowed carrying them in the facility at one point, and then I retired them to my duty belt when they kind of handed out uh, cuffs to every position inside the jail. Uh, nice part about this glove or this uh, hand ca handcuff case. So you have the initial snap, and then under here you have a smaller snap, as you can see. That smaller snap, there's actually a key ring that comes with this. 
and in here you can actually keep a cuff key if you prefer i don't like keeping one close to my cuffs uh, i usually have one in my pants pocket or in my shirt pocket uh, let's see glove pouch is 1095 same with the handcuff case so not expensive cheap little setup but it works they're strong they're uh, pretty sure they're like mill grade nylon i mean they'll fray over time the the glove pouch if you can see it here it's taking some wear uh so they'll wear out over time but so far for about two years for about a year and a half now this this is my setup and it's lasted i don't really have anything that's breaking down so last but not least on this setup so i have what looks like a blackhawk uh, level three holster this is actually not a blackhawk it's an imitation the blackhawk was expensive as all can be uh, so that we don't we are not required to run a level three holster uh, level two is all we're required our holsters that the jail provides are safari land qls so they have just that little thumb release on the side i wanted a level three holster so this one here is a Quan Li, I believe is how you say it. Uh, level 3 Glock 17 holster. It's ABS, but it does mimic the Blackhawk Level 3 holsters that everybody just loves to hate because of that little button. Uh, yeah, I I want to change this out, but I don't want I want a nice holster to replace it. Obviously, with actually getting to use that Safari Land Flex Drop ad ad adapter. I think that might be the next run for this. Put one of those on here with a different holster. But this one's real simple. Just like the or just like the Blackhawk, as you're coming down to get your grip, there is a thumb release right here for the hood. And once you have your full grip, trigger finger on the actual release. So it's a it's a dual a dual lock. Once the once the pistol goes in, the trigger finger lock for the trigger guard activates and then just push down and the hood locks over top so even if they were to release this they're not getting that pistol out so um yeah i mean that's that is my duty belt setup like i said there's not much to it i if i need to carry a taser i carry it right here uh, I don't have my own personal taser holster, so I use the one supplied by the jail. They use tech lock, so it's real simple. I just back off my, or remove my backing here, hook it around the belt, move my backing back into place, and then I can run my less than lethal. Uh, I was going to get a holster for OC. We don't carry OC too often on transports, but I know a couple of the guards that are very ritual about carrying one will carry OC, the other one will carry a taser, and that'll be the team. Yes, less than lethal is a good option, but on my setup, I just don't have it. Like I said, if I take it, I usually just throw it right here. If I do run, if I do take spray, I'll just slide my mag pouch off, put a spray holster back here, and put my mag pouch back on. So it's real simple. This that's why I like this belt is once you take that backer off, that is your keeper. It holds everything in place. This this has no locking adjustment to it. So without that backer on it, this can just slide around the whole belt. But as long as you keep that backer on it, it's just like a set of keepers. So that's uh, so there it is. That's the the duty belt setup, uh, and I wear that over top of my normal everyday belt that I wear to work and I'll have a review coming up on that here this week so you guys can see the uh, it's another Cobra belt from Bigfoot that I, I wear as my work belt I don't keep really too much on it I just that's just my normal belt for work so you'll just check back on the channel you'll get a review on that one guys other than that that's all I got for you here today don't forget to like the video Drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what gear you guys are running on your duty belts. If you're law enforcement or corrections, uh, tell me what your setup consists of. What does your facility, if you're corrections, let you carry? Uh, I know some facilities allow you to carry batons as well as the taser and the OC spray and etc. Let me know what you guys are allowed to carry compared to us. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification button. 
So that way you're notified anytime we upload any new videos. That's all I got for you here today, guys. Later.